Hey guys, it's Amanda back with another video. Um, I am going to switch it up a little bit. The other videos I've done... Sorry, I just getting distracted. Um, the other videos I've done so far are kind of like life updates or just like... I mean, I've only done two, so one was a life update. I was going to film this other video, but um, I'll come back with that. I need to get it right. Like, I need to just... You have to know everything. Like, I can't just tell you... It has to be on point. So I am actually just going to do an actual story time today. So I hope you guys like this. It's going to be kind of embarrassing <laughs> on my part. So, I mean, I hope you enjoy that because, I mean, who doesn't like laughing at someone else's life, right? So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys a little background. Um, this is 2017. Um, my sister's wedding was in November 2017. So basically before this, the whole year prior, like up until November, um, my sister and my mom kind of had a falling out. So she's like 24 at the time. And um, yeah, they just kind of cut each other off. It goes way deeper than just that, but I'm not gonna get into that. It's not that important, um, at least not for this video. But um, yeah, so they kind of cut each other off. So due to that, I mean, it was kind of hard for me and my younger siblings to have a relationship with her because my mom was just very like, you know, like I, obviously she's gonna feel a certain way about that. So um, basically we were all bridesmaids, like me and my two sisters. And then my brother was doing the rings, all that. And obviously my mom was gonna be there, all that. And um, it was great. And then they cut each other off. So basically she, my oldest sister, she assumed that um, that my mom wasn't gonna like let us be in the wedding because of, you know, the falling out. So she basically just kind of cut us out of it. Um, then it kind of gets a little closer to the wedding. My other sister, she was still in it as a bridesmaid. And I had not talked to my sister that was getting married for, you know, a while. And then it was getting a little closer and I was just thinking like, wow, like what if, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, 18 at the time. So I'm able to make my own decisions. I was living with my mom at the time and I was just kind of freaking out. Like, what if this is just a stupid fallout and they make up, you know, in a couple months and you know, I missed something that was really important and I shouldn't have missed it. So I reached out to my sister. I told her I want to be in the wedding. She told me it was too late to um, be in the wedding, but I could be a special guest in the wedding. So I, I wanted to. So I told my mom that I wanted to do it. And my mom asked me every day since, when are you moving out? So when are you moving out? So when are you moving out? So she basically kicked me out. I ended up moving in with my dad after the wedding. Or no, before the wedding, right before the wedding. So yeah, so I'm moving with my dad, right? And then, yeah, so that's the background. That's the background. So I mean, I got kicked out of my house to go to this wedding and it was just me and my sister that were gonna be there. Like my other sister and my brother were not going. My mom wasn't going. Um, we don't have the same dad, but her dad wasn't going. Like it was just kind of like, depressing in my opinion but yeah so me and my boyfriend at the time we um go it's in Kentucky so we drive down there um it's super fun we're having a good like couple days before the wedding um everything was really um exciting and just special because we'd been to another wedding together and that was fun and yeah, this is different like my sister was getting married i was like really excited and obviously wasn't talking to my mom during this time all that so um basically it's the morning of okay and this is where it starts obviously um we all are waking up like we're about to get ready and then automatically at the beginning of the day my older sister who was a bridesmaid she was just freaking out she was obviously very hectic you know about the whole thing and she was kind of just giving me shit from the beginning of the day that oh you're not a bridesmaid you don't understand it's way more like okay dude okay i get it i'm not a fucking bridesmaid like i'm a special guest like obviously that might make me feel like shit when you say that but i mean it's all good though i mean i was just like all right bitch like obviously it was something up your ass like 
I'm not gonna trip on it <laughs> I mean that's on you so I just kind of was like okay whatever so um it's a long day like we get to the you know the venue um it's really exciting honestly like it was a really fun time um you know just drinking mimosas all day and uh you know, getting ready, and I had, at the time, clip-in extensions. I have tape-in extensions now, and I can do another video on, um, you know, the process in that. I really love them. They're so beautiful. My hairstylist does a great job. They're very sturdy. I just, you can't see them. Most people can't tell, so now you guys know. You're welcome. <laughs> but, um, anyway, that could be another video. But, um, yeah, so I had clip-in extensions. So it's getting closer to time, you know, time to do it. And I just, oh, my God, I've never been in a wedding like that because I was still, like, a special guest. I was still kind of part of it. So, um, I, I don't know. I'm getting stressed out, and I cannot get my clip-in extensions to, like, look good. And I had, like, just gotten them. So I was using them for cheer. So I could put them in a ponytail, but I wasn't really good at putting them down, so I was just stressing about that. I was kind of freaking out. I figured it out. At that point, I'm like, I was like, eh. Like, you know what I mean? I had like a couple mimosas. Was that like champagne? Like it was, you know, I was just a little tipsy maybe. Maybe. You know, what's before that? Buzzed? Yeah, probably that. So, um, we, it's time to go, right? It's time to go. <laughs> so it's like. I just remember sitting there. I got to walk down the aisle with my boyfriend at the time and uh, be a special guest. I got to wear my own dress, super cute. Um, and yeah, I mean, we were sitting, I got to sit in the front row and I mean, my sister walked down the aisle by herself. I mean, I can tell you right now, like I'm a very, very emotional person. Like I was depressed about this. Like I just didn't feel like it was right. I was crying the whole time, not because I was like happy, emotional. I was crying because my mom wasn't there. Her dad wasn't there. My siblings weren't there. Like it wasn't right. It was just so wrong. And like, I think that's the reason this video is titled the title it has. <laughs> that's why this happened is I was just very depressed about this. Like it was, it just wasn't right. So. I'm like crying and then she gets married, right? She walked down the aisle by herself, like no father, nobody walked her down. We barely had family there, like we had our cousins there and I barely know them, like it was just not right. Anyway, um, after the ceremony, we take pictures and then it's time for um, like cocktail hour, I guess. So we like go downstairs, well, I guess they set up the tables in, in the um, banquet hall and um, yeah, I just think it's kind of also fucked up because my mom paid for the banquet hall. She paid for my sister's wedding dress. Like, she bought all of it and she wasn't even there. And she saw it as she wasn't invited. My sister invited her, but, I mean, she also didn't talk to her. So, it's not like she's going to go. Like, they don't have any, con like, communication. So, I don't know. It's just all wrong to me. But, so, cocktail hour. That's when, like, we started drinking a little bit. I mean, it was, like, wine. That's what we were drinking, wine. So, I mean, I'm a little, this, I'm sorry, this video is so embarrassing, so please <laughs> bear with me. Okay, so I'm not, yeah, I'm still, like, tipsy, like, I'm not at all in the slightest drunk, but, yes, I was definitely tipsy. So, then it was time to go to, back to the banquet hall and do, like, the speeches, toast, and then eat. So, basically, people are giving their speeches and they're, you know, like, the... I don't remember who all gave a speech, but all I remember is like it was time for the best man to give his speech and For some reason My boyfriend I was like facing Towards the best man, right? So I was sitting sideways in my chair And my boyfriend was behind me in his chair. So for some reason I start like leaning on him <laughs> And all of a sudden I'm on the floor, like on my ass, on my ass, just like, oh my God. <laughs> looking around, the whole room's looking at me. The best man had to stop talking. Like it was just so, I was just like, so I'm sitting there for a second, like, oh my God, everyone's looking at me. And then everyone kind of like, they're, they're at the point where they're about to continue 
with their life. They're about to just drop, you know what I mean? They're about to stop looking at me and the best man's about to start talking. So he says his like first word and my dumb ass literally looks up at everybody and goes, I'm okay. <laughs> I said, I'm okay. <laughs> and then that just made it so much worse. Like it could have just been over, but I literally was like, oh my God. And his, the groom's family is just so like religious and stuff. So they literally <laughs> jaws dropped at me like, <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway that's the first incident so then right after the speeches and everything um my sister who's a bridesmaid who's been giving me shit all day about me not being a bridesmaid another reason i might have been upset um was just like i don't know she just said something like you're so drunk or whatever i don't even i don't even care but um yeah, so I was, then I'm, like, feeling like shit. I'm, like, wow, this is just terrible. Like, this is the worst time of my life. And then I'm sitting with my boyfriend, and, you know, we're talking and stuff, and he pulls this, like, we kind of get into, like, a little discussion, argument, if you want to call it. And then, you know what he says? He goes, why don't you just go talk to so-and-so type of thing? I was, like, are you joking? Like, another guy. Like, he's like, oh, why don't you go talk to this guy or some shit? Like, because he was just being salty with me. I was like, why aren't you talking to me? And then he just said that shit. And I was like, okay. So then I was like, you know what? Fuck everyone. Just fu fuck my boyfriend. Fuck my sisters. Fuck everyone in this fucking room. I literally went to the bar. <laughs> I said, fuck it. I'm going to the bar. I go to the bar. And I get, you know what I was drinking? I was drinking vodka sprites. That's what I was drinking. Um, just a couple, you know, really, I don't even think it was that many because I was already like tipsy, right? So I don't think it was that many to get me like that, as drunk as I was because, um, I mean, I was already kind of tipsy, but also like vodka sprites. I mean, they were pretty strong in my opinion. So also I had a low tolerance. Like I never drank like ever. So, um, yeah, no, I really just said fuck it. And you know what I did? I literally just like sat and hid in a fucking corner for like the next couple hours. I don't know what my boyfriend was doing at the time, to be honest, because it's not like he was like buddies with that. Like it was just my sisters. So, I mean, I don't know. So then a couple hour or maybe an hour goes by and then I'm like, I'm drunk. I'm literally drunk. Um, I can't remember exactly when I blacked out. But I was definitely drunk at this point. And then the next thing I remember is I went to the dance floor. I went to find my boyfriend because I was like, okay, what am I doing? So I went to go find him and I brought him to the dance floor. And um, yeah, I'm dancing. And the dress I was wearing, I might link a picture of the dress in this video if I can figure out how to do it. I'm going to edit it. So I told you guys I was going to edit it, but I don't know if I could do all that. I don't know if I'm that professional yet. But yeah, so my dress is see-through. So I had a bra, you know, I had a bra on, but I ended up taking it off. So that part wasn't see-through, the bottom part was see-through. So if you like wore the wrong thong, like you can see through it. So I had to get one of those like thin Victoria's Secret, like beige, it was a pink dress. So it was a beige thong and it wasn't with me. I either forgot it or lost it or something. So I didn't wear underwear <laughs> at all. <laughs> And I mean, I think you could guess what happened. Um, we're dancing, it's fine. But then you know what happened after that? The Cupid Shuffle comes on. And I don't know if you guys know this version. Like it's like kick, 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 kick. No, no, no. If you're a cheerleader, you know. It's kick, 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 drop, bitch. You drop. <laughs> and I was dropping, all right? I was dropping. And I just remember multiple people coming up to me like, hey girl you gotta watch yourself and i was so confused because i had no idea what they meant and then they kept telling me like my pussy was out i was literally popping my pussy out at my sister's wedding like ah. <laughs> so at this point i already ruined the best man's fucking speech right that was all fucked i fell out of my chair like that was terrible and then now my pussy's out so i mean if it doesn't it, I, I I really, I want to say it doesn't get worse, but it gets worse. So just wait. So then that's happening, right? And then at that point, it's like, okay, like wrapping up the night. Um, I had a completely drunk photo shoot that I don't remember at all. And then what happened after that was we were waiting in the lobby. Um, everyone's waiting in the lobby for their Uber. 
you know, just all waiting. And I, meanwhile, am throwing up in the garbage can in the lobby in front of everyone. So that is so embarrassing. Like, that's just so the most embarrassing thing I can think of. Like, I, that. So then we finally get in our Uber, right? And I'm telling the Uber driver the whole way home, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. And my boyfriend's like, she's not going to throw up. She's not going to. Like, I'm the type of person, like, when I'm, like, blacked out or anything like that, like, I I make conscious decisions still. I'm not like, I, oh, I can totally handle myself. But when it comes to stuff like that, like, I wouldn't throw up in an Uber, in a car. You know what I mean? Like, I know that I would wait or, like, you know, do something. Like, obviously, made it a garbage can. Like, whatever. So, he's like, she's not going to throw up and so when we get back it, i just had got my clip and extensions for the first time so you have to like unclip it and then take it out so we got back and i was way too drunk to even take my own extensions out so my boyfriend had to do it and then um the next day he's telling me like yeah you were like crying and screaming when i was trying to take your extensions out and i was like you know to unclip them right <laughs> like you you know that right <laughs> no he didn't know that nope so i mean you know go figure i was crying and screaming as you were ripping my hair out of my head okay yeah that would make perfect sense actually come to think of it yeah that is the actual whole story that's the whole night and i mean it was really embarrassing my sister that got married she actually wasn't mad at all she actually thought it was really funny but everyone else was just like oh my god like this bitch and honestly i don't blame them I really don't because that's so embarrassing but that's the first time I ever got blackout drunk and I can just tell you like there were multiple things that were kind of feeding into this like everyone just kept pissing me off it was a terrible time like it was just not right like the whole situation was terrible I'm glad I went still like I mean it was fun but it was just super embarrassing for me probably for my family um and I mean, I know I didn't miss it. I'm never gonna regret not going because I went, but I mean, it did not turn out the best. But um, yeah, anyway, I like to mention in this video, that was the story. I hope you guys like the story. I mean, I can tell more stories like that um, that are embarrassing because <laughs> I've done a lot of fucked up embarrassing shit. But um, yeah, I just wanna say that um, thanks for watching. Honestly, I have 33 subscribers. I love you people. Thank you so much. I mean, it's so stupid. Like, like I mean, usually people are like ungrateful about that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy. I'm happy if like three people watch my video. So thanks. Or, I mean, if you give a shit, like this is so funny to me, like these stories. And I have a lot more of them. I'm going to do more story times and some more life updates. I still have to um, <laughs> film my video about my shitty cheating fucking ex so i'm just trying to get it right though i got like i said like i have to get it on point um let me know in the comments if you want to see anything like a makeup tutorial more story times um i don't know any type of life update like also i might want to do a q a video coming up soon i'll definitely do a video about my extensions if anyone wants to know about them just let me know honestly um I'll definitely respond to you i'm not famous so <laughs> i'm kind of irrelevant so if you don't want to watch me again that's fine but if you do you should subscribe i decided i'm going to upload every friday i think i really can't decide i'm gonna um for sure figure it out because i'm filming this and now i'm like oh friday but i could have it done a couple days or i don't know so i will let you guys know for sure because i want it to be consistent like twice a week the same days nothing sketchy nothing weird like that so yeah i hope you like this video subscribe like um follow my social media to keep up with when i'm gonna post because that's usually where i post when i'm gonna upload and what the video is gonna be about leave a suggestion um on what you want to see thank you hey guys um before i upload this i just want to do a little disclaimer first disclaimer i did not wear my eyelashes or my lipstick during this video because I mean, I feel like a lot of you have a problem with my cake face. So, I mean, I was just trying not to scare you as much. Maybe a little less makeup. My finger went in the camera. But um, the big disclaimer I really wanted to um, tell you guys was never, ever, ever, ever use alcohol 
when you're upset like to cope like what i did when my boyfriend pissed me off or my sister pissed me off like you should never do that obviously you can tell it didn't help me at all honestly it just made me more embarrassed it caused more problems for me and it ended the way it did yeah i made a good story but it didn't help me i could have just talked about it that's how you cope like i could have talked to my boyfriend talked to my sister talked to my mother like any of that so just so you guys know it never turns out well i mean as you can tell hopefully this video helps you understand that because the whole thing was a shit show after i started using it to cope so i hope you guys like it um subscribe this is terrible subscribe give me a thumbs up i'm gonna get an actual like youtube studio thing like a phone thing and then eventually a camera so just stay tuned for that my videos will be better and better every time thank you